Hey guys, no subscribers guy, back again for another episode on the city. So on the city I'm going to be building. <laughs> so last episode, what I built was one of these, one of these nice modern houses. So what we're going to build again is another house, another simple one, great one. And all I've done is I've used the mod I told you last time to start building these roads, start getting you know, a crossway, and it also comes with traffic lights. So look at that. Isn't that nice? I love it. I love it. So first off, what we're going to do is we're going to grab some grey wool. I'm going to go out here. So we'll go back a bit, back, back to about here. Uh, yeah, I'll go here. And I'm going to build it nine across. So here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's, yeah, that's our darkest wall, isn't it? I mean, anything darker. I guess some darker wool. Black wool now. We'll go with, we'll stay with this dark grey wool. Alright, so we've gone across by nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. And this way we're going to go across by eight. Across by nine again. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and then cross by eight again. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we've got our simple box here. Okay, very simple, very easy to do. So then along here, you're going to want to come across one, two, three, four, and on the fifth one. There, yeah, one, two, three, four. It's kind of in the center. And then to the right, one more. Put another hole. This will be a double door. It's slightly more to the right hand side of that. And then what you're going to want to do is just build up the layers by three. All the way around. And don't worry, we'll place windows in later. There's no need to worry about that just yet. Okay. Sort it like that. And then we'll come around for the last bit. Okay. So we get our basic, nice, happy, basic little room going. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab the grey wall, and on the left hand side, or our left facing it, we're going to go out by another five. So one, two, three, four. Whoop. Four, five, that's five. And then up again, like that, but leave a gap in there. I want to get some uh, black. Stained glass instead of plain glass because I think this will look nicer and just come across here. So we've got a window of four there, and then we grab our standard wall. Mm hmm, getting uh, technical, and we come up by one, two, three, four, five, six. So from that edge there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we go up by three and then across by eight like so so we've come across by eight from this left and seven got a gap of two in the middle and actually I'll I'll finish it around and then we'll add the windows in later then again eight this way so two three four five six seven eight and then finish off the square so uh, three four five six seven, eight, and one, two, three, place that there, so I think, I think this house is quite a nice little build one, and we'll just finish the windows in there, and we can put this one in here, but to be honest it's probably not going to be, it's definitely not going to be used anyway, and then just, because it'll be on the inside of course, and then just fill in the holes here with the uh, Stained uh, black stained glass panes, and it's raining. Set that up. Hate it when it rains. Okay, then we're just filling these in. Ooh. Simply filling these in like so. And what you're going to want to do is, oh, not light grey wool, wool. 
all in here. Like so. So now these these uh, windows become the the floor itself well, on the bottom, not kind of raised. Get what I mean? Probably don't. But so before the end, now I've got a little box on the side. Let me go around to the front. So it looks like that now. So it's starting to look quite nice. We'll change the weather to daytime or midday, kind of history precise. And yeah, there you go. Put this here down like that. So you've got this kind of under part, which we will be using later, in fact, as a garage kind of place to put our, our car. So then here, we're going to get some uh, ice, even. I forgot about this bit. Ice. So from the very far left, pillar one there, then across, miss a gap, and then there. And then across, miss a gap, and then there. And then you can do it three or four times. So across, miss a gap, there. So it's four across. Let's get up there. So you can still look through it from the other side, like so. So you look on on this side, the ice is actually pretty much invisible, and on this side it's visible. So I think that's quite a nice little thing. So we'll grab some grey wool, and then from the right here we go across one, two, three, four, and we're going up by six. So two, three, four, five, and six, and across like that, and in there. To get that in front. Now, one thing I completely forgot, I've got to fill the roof in here. So, just with white wool again, just fill this roof in. Now, I do warn you, seeing as this house is entirely made of pretty much wool, if you're going to be uh, using this, going to be building this, it is reasonably flammable, I'd warn you. So, what I'm going to do is grab some glass panes again and just fill this in here, if I could do that correctly. A bit of a, oh, bit of a live moment there. So like that. Okay, so then I'm going to go to the other side. And basically from the roof here, we're just going to drag it all the way out again. So basically that's just going to go around here, so bring it all the way fully to the back. And we're going to completely fill up this back bit here. And then just fill in the roof here. So this whole central section fits in like that. The bike's going to be completely flat and uh, unused. Now, I've completely forgotten the rest of it. Let me go check on the one I did for this. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Now I remember. Alright, so we're going to go left and we're going to grab some wool. And on the one just left of this, in here, we want to go up to uh, 3, 4, 5, 6. We're going to want to go up by 6. We're going to also need to grab some quartz stairs. we go about that final ingredient, we need some quartz stairs. And on top, there, boom. Now then we're going to grab some wool again, and around here. Miss out, yeah, miss out one, go up by 6. Miss that one, go up by the six. Miss that one, go up by six. And miss that one, go up by six. But we're not going to do the back. We'll avoid the back. And then place stairs on top of all of these. Okay. Now looks like that now. And what we want to do is we're going to grab the grey wool. And we're just going to bring this up by two more layers. We will be replacing some of this wall shortly with some windows. Okay, like that. So then in here, wherever the there is a gap, replace that with some black stained glass. Straight up to there. And then in here as well. Avoid that. Yeah, ignore that bit. I can't seem to fly. Let you know. There we go. Avoid that and there. Up and up and up. 
all the way up. One, two, three, four, five, and then leave out that back corner there. Then I'm just going to grab some black stain, uh, turn my black stain play grey wool again, and just want to fill that up one more. So these are just well, the stairs are just one layer above, and then you're just going to fill in the roof and in here as well. And then we'll go outside. All right, hope you can follow that. Go like that. See, like there. And what we're going to do for final touching is put that there, put that there, put that there, and put that there. So you got that now, like that in the corner. Look at that in the. Hope you can see that. There is the uh, the glass in there. And the back is, is the back is completely slabbed up for a bit of privacy, I guess. And then you're going to want to go to the to do that. So we've got the space under here. So what I'm going to do is simply just replace all these blocks in here with get rid of all that there and replace that with some cobblestone. Like so, like this, so it looks quite nice. So, you got that going now, and then we're going to want to cross one, two, three, and go across by at least five. Yeah, go across by five, and replace that. So, it's only three wide, one, and then just start heading towards the road. Uh, okay. Like that, so we've got our pathway to our our uh, thingy, <laughs> our, our back part, our garage under under part of the hat garage. So we're just going to do is grab a door, some wooden doors will do, and we are going. There's a sheep in our house. <laughs> get out, get out, come on. There we go, and place some doors there. And I'm going to let you do the interior decoration. There's the upstairs room, and here's downstairs. So it's quite a nice open plan living bit. And yep, yeah, okay. And what we're going to do the last thing is I forgot actually, cobblestone the door first. And then we're just going to want to come across in some sort of pattern back to the, uh, back to the roadside. And then I'm going to replace the doors real quick, like so. Alright, then if you want, you can put a fence around it, grab uh, or some sort of wall, uh, iron bars. So you can build some sort of wall around it. So I'm going to go at one, two, and let's check if this will work. Uh, one, two, yeah, or work like that. Put some sort of fence here, like so. So we'll go across by one, two, three, four, and then on every. So basically, what you just do is you leave a gap of two, and then one, two, and then put the fence there. And then in between, just put some iron bars. I don't know, it's up to you. You could put like a bush or something in front. I'll use this kind of method because I think it looks quite nice. And of course, it go all the way around. So look at that. Isn't that nice? And then just grab, if you want a bit of extra detail, that's what I do. Grab a flower pot and put that on top of each of them. It's not actually in signify a flower pot, but some sort of detailing part. I'll have to add a bit of extra detail, to be honest. And so there you have it. Quick, simple, pretty good. It's quite nice, quite modern, I think. So there. Uh, all I can say is, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to uh, like, favorite, and subscribe. And I've been the No Subscribes Guy, and thank you for watching.